What up, this currency? Some people call me Spiller, and I collect shepherds. What's going on? It's your boy George Kill, and I'm back with a brand new Koiski episode of I Collect. This time I'm in New Orleans, my favorite city, with my man Currency. What's going on, man? Good, brother. How you, my boy? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, we know you all about the shoes, but then the cars is what it really is for you. I tell you what, maybe the cars are an investment in keeping all the shoes protected because I don't want to walk and ruin my dead stocks. So I then became a car fanatic. But actually, it was cars first because as a kid in a grocery store, that was how I would behave. You know, you tend to wander off down different aisles and shit. Your parents want you to behave. My mom would buy me one Hot Wheel at the checkout counter if I behaved. So I would stay on her bumper the whole way. And this is not even yeah. a half of it. Right? Nah, just a low rider, low rider heaven. This Chevy Avenue right here. I'm into low riders, you know, and, and customizing them. But I also have appreciation for, you know, a real piece of gold from a time, you know what I'm saying? And I know what it is to preserve it and keep it in this original form too, so. This is my 63, I might have the key somewhere, but just offhand, you know what I'm saying? Just for when you pull up, you gotta have you something like that on your dashboard. Get your hands on the literature to go with the car, you know what I'm saying? In case some people want to thumb through it, everything period correct. Try to keep it that way, that's the most important thing in that culture, you know? But all that's all original interior, you could, you know, check it out. When did you get this one? Maybe like a year and a half ago, after one of my tours. That's usually when I make the purchase on the bus, just online, looking at different auctions and stuff like that, and you end up falling in love with something. <laughs> That's a real LA feel with the dice and the... Oh man, well, you, you try to keep it that way because that's where the game came from. I'm from New Orleans, but every, every part of that lowrider culture that I soaked up, it came from LA, so the way to pay homage and do that is to infuse it in your way like see like this this dealership license plate i got right there philly chevrolet that's in l.a you follow the low rider culture you'll see a lot of the guys flying that on the front of their car you know this car is from california your whole point of it is to have it looking as factory as you as it can but with your own little funk to it yeah that's, that's the way to do it this car right here is in low rider magazine right now that's your dream as a kid this is all you do if you're in the low riding it, this is the bible for you and your goal is to be in here and i i'm from new orleans so i never really actually thought it was gonna happen but it was my motivation you want to build your car and you want to ride correctly you want to actually put it on the street so people can see it you want to actually hit your switches and show people that it can do what it's supposed to do and keep it clean and, and, and you know, you'll get a nod from, from the greats. This was for Christmas. My car was the side of the table of contents. That's my green 6.4 right there. So I'm already two cars in. Got my Whataburger joint in this one. Anything you could get with your numbers. What you want in the game to keep it funky. Everybody have a Carl's Jr. tag, because the game, you know, the game came from LA. I got a homie who swiped me every year of my car, but I left them up here so long, they get, they get heat warped like this one, you know what I'm saying? They get messed up. My homeboy is sick, he from Houston. He painted these. I make music, that's how I make my money, bro. It's my passion, but my dream was to drive a lowrider, like, and I didn't really know how I was gonna, how I was gonna do it, how I was gonna get it, you know? And this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. And you never, you never die. Even when you physically leave the earth, like the builds that you was responsible for and the game you gave people, people always gotta say your name and that shit just keep you on the streets. So as we make our way over here to the Bel Air, this was supposed to be when I retired. I figured I'd be an old man at an auction, just, you know. <laughs> fuck it, bang the gavel and get it. Yeah. But the day we started the tour, a friend of mine posted this car on Instagram. Bel Air's cost so much. Bel Air, you damn near gotta drive like 50 bands just to yeah. get the bitch, you know? Yeah. So I was like, I'm, I'm not in that mindset to where I'm gonna do that. But I was like, you know what, man? I know how many shows I'm about to do. 
fuck it. Just spin it, you know what I'm saying? We gonna put it back in there, go and get it. This car didn't do anything to it. This is how it showed up, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing to do to it, but put an air freshener and some gas in it. There's chrome wax on all of it, so don't trip on me for it not shining as hard as you might expect it to, but if you zoom in, you see the swirls. We got the yellow Impala here. Yeah, man, this is a glass house. This is a glass house. This is a glass house. People say that all the time, they don't know exactly what they are talking about, but you're talking about a Caprice Impala, 70, like a 72 to 76, 77. I got this car from Instagram. I'm not gonna call somebody, I'm calling him the homie at this point. The homie DM'd me, he's like, Spiller, you the only one that I sell it to, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't want it. I'm trying to build a 96 Impala, but it's just sitting in the way. It's all original. Give me 10 grand for it. And I was like, damn, G, you know, no matter how much money you got, you can't roll with the first thing. You know what I'm saying? I could have been sitting on like 50 cash, but you asking me for 10, I got to try and get you for six. You know what I'm saying? And then if you don't hang up on me, then we try to meet somewhere, you know? So we got to 8,000 and a full tank. All right, he filled the tank up and he lived an hour away. He filled the tank up. He drove it an hour to the studio with the windows up and that was a major thing because as soon as he pulled up to the studio in New Orleans with the windows up in August, you know something. He got AC in that thing. So this car was factory, fresh, 16,000 original miles on it, air conditioning still working, $8,000. That doesn't happen anywhere in America without a gun, you know what I'm saying? So all I did with this, I took the factories off it and I put these 13 by seven Supremes on it. This was one of the original low rider wheels. Dayton's took the game, you know, 100 spoke wheels took the game. But if you look up some vintage low riding, you'll see footage of cars rolling, Supremes and Kragers. You could come in the game with some Supremes or some Kragers, you know, because it, it'll show them that you have to clearly know something. Like your dad cares, your uncle cares. Somebody have their hand on your shoulder with this car shit and is telling you, you know, what to do. That goes with those two. That's, that's Zenith on those. The only car that have Dayton's on in here is that green 6.4. Some people have imitation Zenith, but I'm not gonna talk about y'all. It's all good. We love you. I just want y'all on the street. It don't matter to me, you know what I'm saying? I was going to that 6.4 next. That's my favorite car you have out here. This is my favorite car. This is the first car that was in Lowrider magazine that I have. Chrome engine, chrome everything. All the steering linkage, everything chrome. So Spittle, what's the best part of a Lowrider? Is it the engine? Is it the, the, the guts? I think it's your paint job because that's your initial outfit. And then that's your shoes. And you know, some people say the first thing they look at are your shoes. They hand in hand. Like this car, this car not ready. And the number one reason that it's not ready, even though it's on jack stands and it's dirty as shit and it's visibly not ready, the number one reason not ready is I wouldn't roll on those. Like these wheels, that's China's. No disrespect to the great nation, you know what I'm saying, of, of China. That is just meaning that this wheel was manufactured in China, not in Dayton, Ohio, where Dayton wheels are made, not in California where Zenith's were made. It's like a bogus Jordan right there. It looks it, but you don't see the jump man on it. And from far away, you're like, yeah, man, he got the new Jays. But if you get up on me, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see I got like a pot belly Jordan, or my Jordan man doing a layup. That is that right there. There's people in my city that were low riding before me. You know what I'm saying? And the acclaim and fanfare that came with me getting into the game, and I guess receiving nods and love from Los Angeles, and big wigs in the game, it, it, it rubbed a, a few people the wrong way who had low riders in New Orleans before, and they're like, uh, now nah, everybody's gonna think he, he started all of this, blah, 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 and I never said that, you know what I'm saying? But because there was that kind of mumbling around, I built this car. This car just caught on fire uh, Saturday. We had a little barbecue, and I had a barbecue in the trunk because it's 14 batteries and four pumps in here in this trunk. This car is eight batteries, that car is eight batteries, and that's enough to do work. That's enough to get off the ground. 
But 14 batteries, this is my hopper. So I don't even sit in this car to do it. This is when the guys get out with the cord and they do it because it's gone so fucking high that they don't want to be in it. So that's this car. So I built this for motherfuckers who was talking shit in case they ever, but you know. I just want to spread the culture in my city and have everybody low out. I'm not even trying to be like, oh, I'm King Low Rider. Uh, everybody report to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't do the work. Like, I break them and I have to call my homeboy. I got to call my vice president of my club. Like, yo, man, can you come, like, get me back rolling? You know what I'm saying? It's not me. You know what I'm saying? I just know how to put them bitches in the air. But when shit fall off, I, I call my homie. I got to soak the game up just like everybody else do. As nice as I keep my cars, it don't make any sense for me to repaint or realign this bumper because this car goes so high in the air, it just crash the bumper every time. Like that's why all this is just out of place. And I'm on my own switch, that's very important. You know what I'm saying? You have to do it. It's your car, you hit your switch. You say you got cars all over New Orleans, all over the place. Yeah, G. Let's go ride around for a little bit. So Spitter, tell me where we at right now. We at the shop, we at Street Customs Motors. This is the before picture, this is before land. What's important right now, what have all my attention right now, is this right here. That's my first like low rider that I really like got busy in. A long time ago, I bought a, 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 a 64 from, from Lil Wayne that used to be from Mac 10, but I ain't really fuck with it that much. I was on the road. I couldn't really develop my love for the game and shit, but it looked like this because this is the car I learned how to be good in low riding in. I wasn't good, you know, so I destroyed one getting good, but this is it, and it's coming back. The homie's bringing it back to life. Cause I always say I ain't do nothing. It's not me, it's not me, all I do is break them. What stage is it in? It's already at prime on it, so we just put guide coat and put it on top, and we doing it really just checking the dust. That's all you see is the dust on it. I'm gonna get a grit of sandpaper and cut it. Can you hear over the machine? It's, it's live here, man. It's live here, so it's machinery, man. But this the 96, man. I got two of these. This is my stock one, but I'm gonna put some four diados on it when we get done. Every time we come through, man, we help them out do a little, lot of things that's got going on. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit in here and I went to as youngsters in New Orleans, that's your Lamborghini. You do whatever you could do to get one of them. I'm going to give it to one of my little homies, but my little homies get in too much trouble. So if one of y'all get y'all shit together, I got a call for y'all. No more buying money, no more nothing for y'all little asses. Once y'all do something righteous, get your shit together and come get the keys to some of this shit that I don't want. It's just sitting in the yard. You know I'm the big homie, you know I'm going to look out. How old were you when you got your first yeah. car? That green money car on that back there, so I might have been like 20. Before I could afford them, it was a passion in because my parents were running to you. Like, I had an issue with model cars and low rider bikes to where actual money, if I would have paid attention, I probably could have bought a car, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, nah, I'm like, I gotta order this for this. I need rotating tables for these little cars, just blowing real money in my room, you know what I'm saying? How many cars? of yours are here? Nine, maybe. All that stuff over there, and then the stuff that, I, that I'm waiting on to come out, you know what I'm saying? So it might be more than nine. Yeah. Maybe like 11, 12. All right, Spitter, I collect. All about the collections. Give me some other people you know who have crazy whip collections. Rick Ross. And anytime I'm invited to a fucking rose house function, I'm, you know, stoked to get the invite, but I'm probably like the last person to actually make it in the house because I'm like in the driveway, like, hmm, what's this? You know what I'm saying? My bro, Wiz, Wiz, putting the, together a nice little thing, man. Freddie Gibbs, okay. Dime Kennedy, Snoop Dogg. This, this break my heart, because he know how to hit the switches. If you saw them bring that foe out on stage years ago, he gave his Pontiac to Kobe Bryant, but I don't know what else he have at the compound on switches. So Snoop, you have to post a vid, text me, tag me in something, let me know you got something at the compound on 13s and fluid, bro. Mike Epps got a bell up, but he don't have switches on it. He got big wheels on it. But look, man, like my Cali partner said, get a bar of this, get a real legitimate bar through the dust. 
I'm not even tripping. This is a 65 El Dorado. I'm trying to find what this damn latch is to get under here for you so you can see this motor before I go in the studio and go to work. Come on, man. That's a real, real, real motor. That's not no Cadillac engine. That's a Chevy engine. That's why I fuck with this one, because I got a Chevy heart in it, you know? But these big wheels, I got this from Fargiato, like the, comp the, the rim company. They good friends of mine, so they just was like, boom, spitter, you know?